so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! New bucket trucks. And in this video, we are going to learn about... Yeah! Bucket trucks! Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, now I'll show you the parts of the bucket truck. Come on! Woo! Look at this! A compartment! Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Like a tape measure, and... Ooh! A flathead screwdriver. <laughs> so many other cool things in there. Ooh, another compartment. Whoa! Giant snippers! Snip, snip, snip! And... Whoa, look at this. Really heavy mallet. Uh, 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 uh. That's heavy. Okay, shut that. Woo, look. A fire extinguisher. Just in case if there's a fire anywhere. <laughs> Ooh, and some road cones up here. Oh, look down here. Whoa, this is a stabilizer leg. They go down and stabilize the truck while the operator is really high in the sky in the bucket. <laughs> okay, let me show you up here. Wow, look at this. This is a go light and it moves. See? <laughs> okay, check this out. It's like a spotlight. Watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's kind of like it's a disco light. Look up here. These are the lower controls that operate the boom in the bucket from down below right here. Ooh. And spray paint? Wow, I bet that's useful. And whoa, look at these giant bolts. Wow, that's huge. And then we have some more cones and some folded up road signs. There's a lot of them in here. And come back here. Wow. See, this is the bucket. That's where you stand and then you go really high in the sky. That is so cool. Okay. Come here. I'll show you inside the bucket van. Wow. Wow. There's other cool things in here. Like, huh, another screwdriver. <laughs> okay, here, take a peek. Wow! Whoa, look! I set out some stuff that was inside the bucket van. Okay, we have a pedestrian headlight. It says stop and go, and it counts down right there. Ooh, a socket wrench. <laughs> and a small adjustable wrench, a medium adjustable wrench, and a giant adjustable wrench! <laughs> this is called a crow's foot. Wow, it's used for odd shaped nuts and bolts like that. <laughs> Whoa, isn't that cool? Hmm, look over here. We have a red light, a yellow light, and a green light. Whoa, and speaking of green lights, look, this is the green light button tester. Just like when emergency vehicles, like police cars and fire trucks, when they need to get somewhere really quick, they have a button inside that shoots a light, whoa, into this thing, ah, it's really bright. And then, that turns the lights green. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, another road cone. <laughs> oh, a road sign. Oh, and speaking of safety, we have our safety equipment. Like, my bright orange vest. Whoa. See? So orange. 
And then, whoa, look at this. This is a harness. This is used. So then you wear it while you're up in the bucket. So then if anything ever happens, you're strapped into the bucket. So strap this right here. Okay. And then oh, one around your belly. Perfect. And then two down here. <laughs> Got it nice and tight. And another down here. Wow. Now I feel really safe. But still, oh, jeez, this is kind of heavy. But I gotta put on my gloves. Bright orange gloves. One. Two. And last but not least, my hard hat. traffic signal lights we're just gonna do some maintenance and make sure that they work okay it looks like the lights are in perfect working order now we're gonna head on over here black thing over there and that is a sensor and it senses the magic green light button now that we're at this little black sensor we just need to clean it and then we need to test it and this is used for when emergency vehicles push their magic green button to flash lights and then it'll turn green watch up here looking at the street light. It's an LED street light. And it wasn't working, but we fixed the wiring. Fixing the lights up in the sky, there's a handyman. Way up high on that neon sign, high above the land. And everybody wants to know, how did he get way up there? thanks to the companies and people that made this video possible. If you want me to do a video with your company, shoot me an email. Bye-bye. Hey, it's 
me, Blippi. And today we're at the Seattle Children's Museum. This is gonna be so much fun, come on. Woo, check this place out. Hey. Hi. Have fun. Thanks. <laughs> come on. Whoa, this place is awesome already. Ooh, look at this. Hey, fish. <laughs> Ooh, this is where these fish live. Just like how you might have a bed at home and a place to play around in the gravel. These fish have these plants to swim around and those rocks to play in. Look, <laughs> that one just came out. Hey, all right, let's go see what else there is. Oh, hey, a post office. I'm gonna dress up like I'm a post office worker. <laughs> oh, there we go. A lot of times they wear the color blue, but then some companies wear the color brown. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna go collect some mail. <laughs> All right, that'll be 50 cents. <laughs> Here we go. Let's put it in the mailbox. All right, this says letters. Okay, let's put it in there. And maybe we'll find that later. Okay, let's go see what else there is. We have to take all this stuff off first. Oh, oh little snug. <laughs> okay, there we go. Nice and organized. Whoa. Construction zone! Whoa! Look at this! House paint! This paint is the color red. This paint is the color blue. And this paint, <laughs> this paint is the color yellow. All right. There's a bunch of stuff over here, but first, we need to get on our safety equipment. Okay, I got my bright orange safety vest on. There we go. And my hard hat. <laughs> and it's the color yellow. All right, let's go over here. Oh, hey, look. A stick of wood. Let's put a bolt through there. And let's grab another one. All right. There we go. They're both inside the holes. And then, what do we need now? See, it's not very tight. They can still come apart. Yeah, it needs a nut. Um, just like this, see? This is a nut. All right, let's screw it on. There we go. See? <laughs> it's kind of like a hammer. <laughs> oh. oh, and right over here? I'll keep that right here. Whoa! Nice organized blue things. Whoa, look at this. Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> okay, let's put one right here. Let's build a tower. Okay? Go, loop that in, stick it in the holes right there, and then, <laughs> All right, now let's build it really high. Since these are soft, I can actually take my hard hat off. There we go, a big blue tower. Okay, there we go, and for the final bit. The beautiful tippy top thing. Hello, hello. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's go see what else there is. Hey, look at where we're at now. This is the eye clinic. They have a lot of glasses on the wall, see? <laughs> Just like mine but mine are the color orange. 
<gasps> oh, wait a second. Looks like the eye clinic has some mail. Let's put that down. Open it up. <gasps> hey, this is the letter we sent to ourselves earlier. <laughs> Good job. All right, there you go, receptionist. Okay, what else? Oh, oh my. This is a way to check your eyes to see if they're in good health. So, let's bring these around. Whoa, watch out. <laughs> okay, here we go. First, you put your chin right here, just like this. Hello? Yep, I'm ready. Hi. <laughs> okay, and then you bring the eye thing right here, and then you look through. Okay. Hello? Hey! Whoa, look at what I see! Oh, it's kind of like a video game. <laughs> hey! Whee! Whoa! <laughs> okay, I think my eyes are really healthy. I can see a lot of things. Whoa! Hey! Look at what I see now! Glasses over here! Woo! Hey! What one should we try on first? Let's do... Let's do these ones. Yeah, see? <laughs> They're the color blue. Well, this is light blue, and this is dark blue. Okay, there we go. <laughs> How do I look? I can see really good now. <laughs> okay, I'll put them back, because I only need one pair of glasses. Okay, that was pretty fun going to the eye doctor. Well, let's check out what else there is around here. Wow, look at where we're at now. This is Imagination Studio, where you can use all of your creativity and imagination to create some art. Oh, like this, the painting area. But before we paint, we need to get on an apron. Okay, let's do, yeah, let's do a blue apron. I like the color blue. <laughs> blue is one of my two favorite colors. Can you guess the other favorite color? Yeah, it's the color orange. All right, now that we have the apron on, we can Van Gogh right over here and create some art. Ready? Call me Blippi Van Gogh. <laughs> Did you see the colors that I used? I used the color blue, green, red, and yellow to make this amazing, beautiful art piece. <laughs> okay. Ooh, what is this? Hey. I am now going to make the Blippi Mona Lisa. Ready? water and spray it down. Whoa! <laughs> okay, and let's take our squeegee and squeegee it off. Oh wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I did it on the other side. <laughs> that was so silly because the glass is clear. It confused me. Okay, let's take the water, spray it off. Now, let's squeegee it off. Oh, perfect! Now it's 
super clean. Oh, hey, look, more things to do art with. So this says recycle. All of these items that you can use to tape on things, glue on things, wow, are recycled. So that means they're pulled from something else to use on art. Oh, oh, just like this stuff. Wow, it's so shiny. Whoa, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll put that back a little later, but for now, let's create some more art. Whoa, just like this big white piece of paper. I think we should write my name together with the color blue, just like my apron. Ready? B L I P P I Blippi B L I P P I Good job! Ooh, what's over here? Yeah, some more art supplies. And this looks like a piece of clay. Whoa, it's really hard. Ah, ah. And it's kind of a shape of a circle. So, I think we should squish it down. Roll it out. Look at it now. I made it really thin, so it can be a lot bigger. Whoa! <laughs> oh, hey, some cookie cutters. Or in this case, clay cutters. Hey, what shape is that? Yeah, this is a heart. Let's cut out a heart in the clay. Okay. We did it! There's what's left over. And check this out. Poke it out. Oh, there it is. Look, it's a heart. Do you know why I made a heart? It's because I love you. And I just wanna say thank you so much for being my friend. And you are very special. You are loved by many, many people. Well, stay loved and keep loving other people. All right, let's go see what else they have here. Oh, it's showtime, it's showtime. I have to get my outfit on because we're at the theater, at the Children's Museum. How do I look? <laughs> yep, okay, let's put this on. This is my outfit for the show. Ah, uh, oh, jeez, oh, the people have arrived. Okay, this looks really good, perfect. I'm gonna make all of them so happy with my performance. Okay, oh wait, hold on. I need my makeup on. Okay, it's showtime, let's go. shall meet. Time to go grocery shopping. <laughs> Come on. Hey, look at what it is. 
It's a grocery cart. Wee! Wee! <laughs> All right, let's go. Wait a second, what am I doing? I pushed this thing. I don't carry it. This area is really cold. Oh, a lot of fruits and vegetables. Let's get some. Ooh, watermelon. Hey, a plum. An orange. Oh, bananas. Apple. A pear. Ooh, a strawberry. Hey, here we go. Here's some vegetables. A tomato. A carrot. Bunnies love carrots. And so do I. <laughs> oh, corn. Yum, I can't wait. Ooh, a red pepper. Huh. An onion. These make food taste really good. Hey, a potato. I like mashed potatoes a lot. And it looks like a cucumber. Nice and refreshing. Huh. All right, let's weigh some of these. See this? This is a scale. You put some food in here, and then you can see how heavy it is. All right, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Look, it weighs one, and halfway in between one and two. So that means it weighs one and a half pounds. <laughs> You might use kilograms in your local area, but where I live, we use pounds. All right, let's continue to shop. Some beans. Oh my, look. Some tasty bread goods. Um, let's do, let's do sandwich bread. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, come over here. There's still some more beans, like chili beans. Ooh, hey, these aren't beans, but they're pretty similar. They're sweet peas. Ooh, hey, here we go. Oh, let's see. Oh, hey, some cheese, yum. And, huh, some milk. All right, this looks like a lot, right? Look, look at all of our food we got at the grocery store. Okay, time to check out. Okay, here we go. Let's start scanning these things. And we'll put them in the bag, okay? Almost done. The last item. Go make some food. <laughs> Yay, I'm so happy we got all these groceries. Now we can make a yummy lunch. Okay, first, let's set these down right here. Okay, stay there. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. 
after going to the grocery store, playing in the mud, going to the playground, anything and everything like that, we have to wash our hands before we eat, or even wash our hands before we make food. So, let's turn on the water, and then we wash our hands for about 20 seconds. It's about 20 seconds. That'll be fine. Okay, all right. Here we are. We need, yeah, we need, ah, that looks a little too big. I'm not that hungry. So let's take a, wait a second. This is a bowl. Yeah, this is a bowl. We need a plate because you and I are gonna make a sandwich. Perfect, one green plate. Let's put that right there. Let's start out with some, some bread. See, two slices of bread. One, two, perfect. All right, then let's put some yummy lettuce on there. Yum. Okay, so we have some bread and some lettuce. Oh, a tomato, yeah. Let's take the tomato. So we have bread, lettuce, and tomato. And then, hey, here we go. We could put some onions on there. Yeah, nice and chopped. Okay, so we have bread, lettuce, tomato, onions, and let's do pickles. Yeah, yummy pickles. Okay, so we have bread, lettuce, tomato, onions, uh, pickles, and then uh, we need, yeah, we need just a little bit more. How about some red peppers? Perfect. So, on our sandwich, we have bread, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, and red pepper. Okay. Put the last piece of bread on there. Oh, it looks so yummy. Okay, let's go to the table so we can eat our yummy lunch. Hey, oh, hey, look, we have ketchup and mustard. Okay, let's put some of that on there. <laughs> Perfect. Sandwiches. Sandwiches are great because you can put a lot of different things on them. You can try this sandwich or even a different sandwich at home. Hey, I have an idea. What if we took some of those vegetables that we got at the grocery store and we grilled them on the campfire? Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah, onions. I love grilled onions. Oh, we could try some Grilled cucumber, I guess. Um, a carrot. Doesn't hurt to try. <laughs> Let's see, what else is there? Oh, yeah, corn. And, and some red peppers. Okay, let's take this to the campfire and grill them so then we can try them out. This is like a forest. You and I should go camping, and then we can grill our vegetables on the campfire. Come on. Whoa, look at this. Wow, it's like a waterfall. See, water is way up top, and then it falls down below. And then you can put your hands in it like this. Whoa, but you don't want to drink it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, whoops, uh, I dropped the corn. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe we can wash off the corn with the water. There we go. Now it's all clean. All right. Oh, look, a rock. Wonder what's under the rock. Whoa, look, it's a salamander. Whoa, they're so slimy. <laughs> 
Okay, what else is over here? Oh, it's a giant log that's rotted out! Look! Hello! Hey! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Another rock right here. Let's open it up. Oh, look at what it is. It's another animal. This right here is a frog. Wow, let's act like a frog. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. Ooh. It's really dark in here. Kind of scary. Let's go. Oh, hey. Look. It's a marmot. Hey, marmot. You're really nice. Hey. Wow. It feels really nice. Oh, okay. Oh, the campsite. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Look, it's the fire at the campsite. My tent is right there. <laughs> All right, for now, let's get warmed up just a little bit. All right, let's put the vegetables on the campfire. Campfire. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, yeah, this is going to be so tasty and healthy because they're vegetables. I love vegetables. Do you love vegetables? Yeah! All right, I'm gonna take a nap. Bye-bye! Oh, wait a second. I can't forget about the vegetables. Okay. Now I can take a nap. Ooh, look down here. There's a bunch of wood things. Oh, it kind of looks like a trough. See? Hey, I have an idea. What if we took these things like this and then like this and we rolled a ball down it. Yeah. Hey, here's some balls over here. Okay. I have four balls. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four. Good job. All right. Here we go. Whee! <laughs> yeah! All right, now I'll do the next three all in a row. Ready? Three, two, one! Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Good job! Come on! Hey, a slide! Go up the stairs, then you can go down the slide. Up the stairs, down the slide. Up. <laughs> down. Good job. Come on. Whoa. Up here looks like the ocean area. See this? This is like seaweed and kelp. And this is like a dock. See how there's birds up there? Cool, cool, cool! And right here down below, there's water, like we're fish. Come through here with me. Whoa! Whoa, good job! We just swam in the ocean together. <laughs> Come on. Wow. 
trains are awesome because they can go really long and connect with each other, see? <laughs> wow. <sighs> well, this was the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you search for my name with me? Wait, let's spell it together first. B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. -P -P -I. Good job. See you soon, bye-bye. Come on everyone, let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout. Blippi. Special thanks to the Seattle Children's Museum for making this video possible. Hey, and if you like this art painting that I did here, you can head to blippy.com forward slash art giveaway for a chance to win. Bye bye Ooh. And look at what it is! And you and I are gonna learn about, yep, airplanes! Woo! Oh, they look like ants when we're up with the birds On the airplane, the wings keep us gliding We're on top of the world So hear that whirring engine and look out on the wing We're gonna fly, fly, fly till we can touch the sky and we're gonna soar right through the clouds We're gonna fly, fly, fly we're going way up high On the airplane in the sky We're going to fly truck. Are you ready to learn about some monster trucks? Let's go! Look at that! It's a giant monster truck! Let's check out some of the parts of the monster truck. All that in there? That's the gears and the suspension. There's so much stuff going on in there. Whoa! Yeah, the engine. The engine is right here. That's where the monster truck gets all of its power from. Ooh, and this? That big yellow thing, that's the body of the monster truck. Monster wheels and tires.
Check it out! This green monster truck is doing a wheelie! Let's watch an instant replay and then watch a couple more monster truck wheelies! You're inside a real monster truck. Let me show you some of the parts. First off, you got in here because you went from the bottom. You get inside a monster truck from the bottom. And here's the first part I'll tell you about. This is the steering wheel. You steer the monster truck with this, okay? And then let's push the ignition button, which then flips on all of your gauges, like your oil temperature, transmission temp, and your, your tack, which is your rotations per minute of the engine. Whoa, and how you make that engine go vroom is down here is the gas pedal. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And then this is the brake. That's how you stop the monster truck. All right, now let's watch some monster trucks. Look at how big this monster truck is. It stands about 12 feet tall. About two of me. Blippy. That was close. Want to see what it's like riding inside a real monster truck? It was really cool seeing inside a real monster truck while it drives. <laughs> it was really bumpy.
Meet my friend Peyton. <laughs> he's a crew chief, and he's gonna tell you a fact about his monster truck. So this monster truck weighs 10,000 pounds. Peyton is so cool, he gets to work on monster trucks all day long. And he even gets to wash their tires. I'd like monster trucks. Do you guys like monster trucks? That was so enjoyable learning about monster trucks with you. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and today we're at Tanaka Farms in Irvine, California. Tanaka Farms, yeah, is a farm where you get to pick your very own fruits and vegetables. Yeah, no grocery store today. Today, you and I are at the farm. Here we go. Oh, check it out. It looks like there's a tractor and two wagons. Let's go. <laughs> Here at Tanaka Farms, you can ride the tractor on the Tanaka Farm Tractor Tour. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, hey, look. Hey, who hey, are you? I'm Farmer Kenny. Ooh, Farmer Kenny. Nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. What do you do here? Oh, I do a little bit of everything, drive the tractor around and take you on a tour. Whoa, can we take a tour? Sure, hop on on. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm in a carrot field. All right, step on over. And you see all this green? That's the top of the carrot. Yeah, you don't eat that. The carrot is actually under the ground. That's why they call it a root vegetable. <laughs> okay, in order to pick a carrot, we actually need to find the carrots. So let's pull these back. Whoa, there's a lot right here. Yeah, see all this orange? Yeah, those are carrots. But they're pretty stuck under there. So let's take this giant pitchfork. Whoa, <laughs> looks like a small fork, but way bigger. And then let's loosen up the soil. Wow, and then we need to pick a carrot. Hey, here's one right here. Wow, check it out. We got a carrot. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I love carrots, they're the color orange. I love putting them in my salads, my carrot cake, even some soup. Mm, they're so yummy. And they help your eyes be able to see at night. Whoa, pretty cool. <laughs> hey, and actually there's an animal that really loves to eat carrots. Can you think of what animal that is? Huh, let's go find it. Oh, cute bunny. <laughs> Look, it's a cute bunny. Wow, this bunny's name is Andy. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if Andy wants a carrot from earlier. Here you go, Andy. Huh, maybe Andy's not hungry. That's okay. Let's put Andy down. There you go. All right. Go, Andy. Whoa, I love bunnies. They are so soft. Hey, this is peanut butter, and the other one, its name is jelly. Oh, there's another one. Oh, 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 look at all those. Oh, hey, there you go. It's okay. Yeah. Wow, do you see this chicken? This is a modern game chicken. Yeah, and they still lay eggs, although they're really small. Yeah, look at them. Hey, you're so cute. Wow. <laughs> okay, 
let's put peanut butter down so then peanut butter can eat some of the mealworms. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, oh, and come over here. <laughs> I have something to show you. Wow, right over here, we have some eggs. Yeah, chickens lay eggs. Wow, we have one egg, two eggs, three eggs, and four eggs. These two are big eggs, and these two are small eggs. But these two weren't laid by the modern game chicken. These are still too big for those chickens. <laughs> okay, we'll put these eggs back right here, and let's go check out the chickens some more. <laughs> Chickens sure do love their snack. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Wow! Do you see these? These are carrots. Yeah! They're the color orange. I love the color orange. It's one of my two favorite colors. <laughs> Whoa, and these are onions. Wow, that is a big onion. <laughs> and look at these. These are also onions, but these are called green onions. Yeah, they're both onions, but they look so different. <laughs> wow, this is romaine. I love romaine, it's so healthy. I like to put it in my salads. Wow, and these are beets. Whoa, these are golden beets, and these are just beets. <laughs> oh, look, check these out. These are cute. These are radishes. Do you see the color? It's kind of like a pinkish red. Yeah, I like that color. Wow, hey. And spinach. These are in a little case, a clear case. Yeah, spinach is green. A lot of these vegetables are the color green, it seems like. Well, see the radishes? Yeah, the part that you eat is the pinkish red color. But up here, this uses photosynthesis to grow the radishes. And this is the color green, but you don't need the top. <laughs> wow, kale. You should try some kale chips sometimes. Yeah, it's like normal chips, but healthier. <laughs> wow, are these drumsticks? <laughs> nope, these are sugar cane. Wow, <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> wow, Japanese eggplant. Wow, these are the color purple. It's a very dark purple. Wow, so cool and healthy. Oh, we got some green celery. We got some cauliflower. Mmm. <laughs> oh, can't forget about the summer squash. Yeah. Wow. And we also have some green bell peppers. Yeah, right next to the red bell peppers. Check it out. Yeah. Red, green. Red, green. <laughs> We'll put those back just right there. And last but not least, we got some corn on the cob. I love corn. <laughs> All right, Blippi, we're here. <gasps> yes! I am so excited. Wow, I wonder what type of food this is. Okay, let's see. All right. We could go down this row right okay, here. Okay, this one, all right. Whoa, what are these? Those are watermelons. Watermelons, wow, it looks like there's two different kinds. Yeah, there's these small round ones, those are uh, yellow watermelon. Okay. And those big oblong ones, those are red seeded watermelon. Wow, can we pick a couple? Yeah, let's find some to pick. Okay. So, uh, how about this yellow one right here, okay. right in the middle? This one? Yeah. Okay, how do you do it? 
Just go oh. ahead and it comes right <laughs> off. When it's ready, it comes right off. Wow, look at it. This watermelon is a circle or a sphere. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. Well, let me go, I'll go grab a red, a okay. red one. Whoa, that's a big watermelon. Wow, what shape is this? Looks like a sphere to me. Yeah, kind of like an oblong sphere <laughs> or an oval. <laughs> All right, now can we put them down right yeah. here? Okay, wow, these are so nice. Okay. All right, so this is a normal watermelon and we know what the color inside is. But we should just cut it open and check, Let's right? See what it looks like. Wow. Yeah. Green on the outside and reddish pink <laughs> red on the inside. Wow. And do you see the seeds? They're black seeds and white seeds. Whoa. Okay. But since this watermelon looked a little different, what's so different about it? It just has a yellow inside flesh. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because it's called a yellow watermelon. Can we cut it open? Yeah, let's cut it open and see. When they're nice and ready, they pop right open. Yeah. Whoa! I've never seen a watermelon like this before. Look, this is the color yellow. Wow. All right, let's compare them. Yellow, red. Yellow, red. Both are tasty. <laughs> Wow, let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm, that's sweet. I love the taste of yellow watermelon. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. What color is your favorite of watermelon? My favorite is yellow. Mmm. Has a little bit different taste, but tastes really good. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah, let me tell you, this tastes really good. Mmm. -hmm. You want to try? <laughs> Ooh, strawberry. Mmm. 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 Strawberries are so tasty. Let's go pick some more strawberries. Okay, do you see my container? This is called a clam shell container. Yeah. Do you know what a clam is? Yeah, clam is a shellfish. And this kind of looks like it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, let's pick 20 strawberries. Whoa, that's a lot of strawberries. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, wow, eight, <laughs> nine, ten strawberries. Okay, we're halfway there. Eleven, twelve, Minus one, 11, <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, almost there, 18, <laughs> 19, last one, 20. 20 strawberries in our clamshell container. Good job. <laughs> Woohoo! Wow! What kind of plants are these? <laughs> I've never seen these before. Wow! Look at them, they're so tall. Kind of looks like corn stalks. But I know they're not corn stalks. Wow. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> that almost hit me! <gasps> we're stopping. All right, Blippi, we're here on Sugarcane Lane. Sugarcane Lane? Did you hear that? Oh, that's what these must be. Sugar canes. Whoa! Okay. All right, Farmer Kenny. All right. What do we do now? We're gonna cut some sugar cane down. Okay. Wow. Hey, these are sugar canes. Look for a nice stock. Whoa. 
Whoa, that's a sharp knife. <laughs> you just chopped it down. Wow, what's sugarcane used for? You could use it just to suck on. You could use it to press it out, make juice out of it. Ooh. Cook with it. Is that what they make sugar out of? Yeah. Whoa, sugar cane makes sugar. Wow. Okay. Wow, look at that. So wow. normally you just cut off the skin and chew on the inside. Wow. So you can chew on that right there? Yeah. Wow, anytime you use knife, you have to be very careful, right, grown-ups? And only grown-ups can use a knife. Oh, all right. That looks so yummy. Could chew on that little end? All right, let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. I love sugar cane! <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Whoa, this is a monstrous plant. And this is actually a flower. This is a giant flower. And this flower is called a sunflower. Wow, can you tell why it's called a sunflower? Yeah, because it looks like the sun. Whoa, wow. And sunflowers produce seeds. Yummy! Seeds are really healthy! <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about fruits, vegetables, and seeds with you at Tanaka Farms in Irvine, California. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I! -I. Blippi! Good job! All right! See you later. Bye bye. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 it's me, Blippi, and I was just hanging out in this cardboard box. Check it out. It's like a bird. Wee. <laughs> oh, I have so many cardboard boxes around here. What are we to do with them? Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we take a few of these cardboard boxes and make something out of them? <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Oh, hey! How are you doing? <laughs> I'm just making a rocket ship out of these cardboard boxes! <laughs> I am using these scissors nice and safely to cut a giant window out of it. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> wow, ooh, now I can sit inside it later. <laughs> then we can explore outer space. I am so excited. Okay, here we go. So, now that I have my window, I can then put the cardboard box, well, used to be a box, now it's a rocket ship, up. And do you see this? This is a square. Yeah but we actually need to make it a triangle. <laughs> so, let's take our scissors. Yep, with your parents' grown-up supervision, you can cut this nice and carefully. <laughs> okay, one side is done. And now we need to do the other side. Here we go! <laughs> Look at that! It used to be a square, but now it's a triangle. <laughs> okay, now we need some tape to then tape it to make the top of the rocket ship. Okay, here we go. Let's grab the tape, pull off a big piece of tape. Whoa! All right, let's give it a little slice. Okay, there we go. Whoa, <laughs> okay, put that there. I love making things out of cardboard boxes. 
You can make so many things. Today we're making a rocket ship. But one time I made a monster truck. Another time I made a dolphin. <laughs> and I named that dolphin. Uh, what was that name? I think it was Dolphy. <laughs> oh, oh, sometimes the tape gets stuck, but that's okay. We got it. All right, there we go. Give it a little slice. And then, tape up the other side. Wow, here we go. I am so excited to go into outer space. Have you ever seen the stars at night? Yeah, they're so bright. <laughs> and the moon? I love the moon. Have you noticed that the moon sometimes is a full moon? Yeah, sometimes it's a half moon, and sometimes it's a new moon. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's uh, give this a little twist. Now it's time to design our rocket ship. I am so excited. This is one of my favorite parts. So, the first step to design is to have a plan. So let's take this white piece of paper right here, and let's draw the rocket ship. So the first thing you need to do is plan. Plan how the rocket ship is going to look. So let's draw the rocket ship. So we have a trapezoid over here. And then we have a big rectangle for the body of the rocket ship. And then we have a triangle for the cone of the rocket ship. And obviously, I want a lot of color. So first, Let's take some orange. Perfect. I love orange. And then let's take some blue. So, let's color it in. I have a plan. I'm gonna use colored paper for that. So I'm actually gonna use this black marker to symbolize that these are pieces of paper. And we will do that later. All right. Oh, whoa, there's a lot of stars here. So let's actually, you know, make some stars right here. Yeah. Yeah, I love stars because you see them at nighttime when you look up in the sky and they twinkle. Yeah, kind of like twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> you know that song. I like that song too. Oh, and yellow. Yeah, that's a beautiful color. Wow. Our rocket ship is looking so good! Alright, I think I have a really good idea. Let's take the color red, because it's nice and bright, and spell my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I Perfect! Alright, so that is the plan. Huh, looks like this triangle, the top of the rocket ship. Yeah, we could color it. How about we color it, yeah, blue. I like blue! And we actually have a lot of blue paint on the here, so we can actually just use blue paint for this part. Wow, perfect! Wow, I think if we can make this rocket ship in real life, it's gonna be so good. All right, here we go. All right, like I said, first thing we have to do is use the blue and orange colored paper to put on the side, just like this. So let's take the glue stick. Yeah, yep, put a lot of glue right on the backs, just like that, okay. There's two pieces. There's one. And here's the second piece. Alright, there's one, two pieces of paper. And we got to do two more. Yeah, which will make one, two, three, 
four pieces of paper. I'm going to put the glue on them right over here. Okay, now we have four pieces. One, two, three, four. So let me finish the rest and then we'll see how many we have in total after I'm all done, all right? Apart. <laughs> well, sometimes if things fall apart, you just have to fix them. Okay, here we go. And after we fix this, then we can count all of the colors. So, let's take our tape. Alright, now the rocket booster is all fixed. Yep, there we go. Okay, now let's count all of the colored pieces. Yeah, the blue and the orange pieces. Those are my two favorite colors. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of paper. <laughs> Good job. Okay, what else did we have on our piece? A paper over here of our initial plans of our rocket ship to go to outer space! We had stars. Yeah, remember? We had yellow stars. Yellow star. Another yellow star. Wow, they're so bright and they twinkle just like the real thing. <laughs> okay, and let's put some blue stars on there. Can you think of anything that's the color blue? <laughs> My shirt. What about the big, vast blue ocean? <laughs> yeah, here's another blue star. Here we go. What about a purple star? Yeah, I like the color purple. Right there. And last but not least, another purple star. Right there. Perfect. That looks so cool. <laughs> All right. So, as you remember, we have to spell my name on it, because that's what was on the plans. But, before we do that, let's do the top of the rocket ship. Remember what color I said I was going to paint it? Yeah, the color blue! Okay, let's take some blue paint, and <laughs> my painter's palette. <laughs> I'm an artist! <laughs> And let's take a paintbrush. Ooh, I love painting. <laughs> okay, and let's squeeze some blue paint right on top. Whoa! 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 Oh, that's so much fun. Okay, let's give it a little dab. Let's do some painting. Paint me. Go. Wow, this is such a pretty blue. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Have you ever used paints before? They're so fun. You can use a paintbrush and you can even use your fingers sometimes. We won't do that today, but that art technique is called finger painting. <laughs> There we go. How does that look? Do you like that? Yeah, I do too. Okay, let's put this away. We need to stay nice and clean and organized. There we go. And remember the last thing we needed to do? We needed to spell someone's name. Oh yeah, my name, Blippi. Will you spell it with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. And do you remember what color? Yeah, the color 
red. Okay, so let's use a new paintbrush. Yep. And then we need to make sure we don't mix the red and the blue because then it won't be red anymore and it won't be blue. Do you know what color you get when you mix blue and red? Yep, purple! But we're gonna keep them separate. <laughs> so, let's take this cap off. Oh, there is so much paint in here. And I like to use a lot of paint. Whoa! There we go! Whee! <laughs> wow, a little bit more. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, let's, uh, before we paint it, we should probably lay it down sideways because we need to write my name, which is sideways. Yeah, there we go, like that. That's how we write sideways. Okay, let's take our paintbrush and let's put the letter B right here. Now that we have the letter B, the second letter is the letter L. Yeah, just like that. The third letter is an I. Ready? Okay, there we go. B L I. <laughs> you know the next letter. A P, yeah. B L I P. B L I P P. Yeah, here we go. Alright, one last letter. B L I P P I. Blippy, good job. <laughs> there we go. We just completed the rocket ship. So now we gotta get inside. Oh no! Do you see what I did? <laughs> we are so silly! <laughs> Check this out. The window is right there! Yeah! That means we have to twist it this way. See? And now, my name is upside down! That's okay though, we're gonna fly through outer space in this new cardboard rocket ship. I am so excited with my name being upside down. <laughs> so silly. Are you ready? <laughs> because I sure am. Here we go! building the rocket ship with me. Now that we're in outer space, I think we should explore our solar system and learn all about it. All right, here we go. Whoa! 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 Look at that. That is our sun, and its name is called the sun. <laughs> How original. Our sun provides all the light in our solar system. That light takes eight minutes to go from the sun to our planet Earth. And the sun is so big, there's 1.3 million Earths that can fit inside of it. Whoa! That's a lot of Earths. Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Outer space is so much fun! Oh, look at that planet. That planet is Mercury. Wow, that planet is really rocky. And it, there's so many craters on it. And it actually, since it's the closest planet to the sun, one rotation around the sun is super fast. It's only about 88 days on Earth. <laughs> Mercury is awesome. Look at that planet! That 
planet is the planet Venus. And it is so hot. It's the hottest planet. Woo, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> the planet has so many volcanoes on it. And it's actually really bright. If you look up in the sky from our planet Earth, you can actually see it without a telescope. Wow, <laughs> here we go. where you and I live. Wow, what a beautiful planet. There's so much water there, and then there's a lot of trees and mountains. Whoa, and our planet Earth, yeah, we have one moon. Let's head there now. sent robots and rovers to Mars. That is awesome. Us humans have yet to land on Mars ourselves, but maybe someday soon, maybe you'll be the astronaut. Yeah, here we go. That asteroid belt was so intense. Whoa, and look at that. That's our planet Jupiter. It's the biggest planet in our solar system. And do you see that big red dot? That is a storm. Whoa, that's a big storm. And Jupiter actually has 79 moons. <gasps> that's crazy. Whoa! Whoa! See you later, Jupiter. Hello, Saturn. <laughs> Check it out. This is our planet Saturn. Whoa, what are those? Those are Saturn's rings. Wow, there's so much dust, ice, and rocks that form those to make up those rings. Wow, what a cool looking planet. All right, Saturn, see you later. Bye-bye. Uranus. Yeah, what a cool planet. Wow, it's kind of blue looking, huh? Yeah, that's because there's so much ice on it. It's known as the big ice planet. Whoa, it has 13 rings and 27 moons. All right, see you later, Uranus. Bye-bye. <laughs> planet is the planet Neptune. It's so dark, cold, and windy on that planet. Oh, let's get out of here. The last planet of our solar system. Look at it. It's really small. That is Pluto. It's so small, it's a dwarf planet. Wow, and it's really cold. I love Pluto. <laughs> it's really chilly out here, though. Let's turn around and count all of the planets, shall we? about all of the planets in our solar system together. Hey, I think we should count all of them. Okay, the sun isn't a planet, so let's count the planets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh wait a second. Eight, nine? Ah, 
knows? <laughs> Some people say Pluto's not a planet, but well, I don't know. It's all up in the air right now. Well, or outer space. <laughs> so silly. Eight or nine. We'll keep it at that. Okay, now let's name the planets. Ready? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Wow! Good job! Alright, well, I should probably get going now. Maybe we'll go and explore another solar system someday. Alright, see you later! Bye-bye! What?